really multi-channel marketing can simply mean that we're developing a campaign that's going to utilize ad inserts in five different publications with a social media element. So we're engaging with people on two, in two different um, environments. A lot of time when we're talking about this, the question that comes up is, well, if we go into this mobile environment, what will our ROI be? And that's really not the correct question to be asking. Because what we do know is that the demographic mm -hmm. right now tells us that everyone is using these devices. They're using these smartphones, iPhone, Androids, Windows. They're using these uh, iPads and tablets to engage us on the go. So really what we're doing is utilizing everything we have out there that we know that these people can access via these devices for these multiple touch points because the ROI does not come from one technology in particular. It really comes from the influence that is out there. So you know, you look at right now at uh, revenue from M-commerce versus e-commerce. E-commerce, which is from a desktop computer, is still substantially higher than mobile commerce or M-commerce. But when you look at mobile influence revenue in the U.S., it is much higher than e-commerce and mobile commerce combined. So what we're finding is these touch points are necessary because it has more of an influence on the everyday life of an individual consumer. While they may not respond immediately to the call to action from scanning a QR code, that touch point that had an impact on them may drive them to later th that evening go on a desktop, make a phone call, or respond to the call to action somehow, which will increase in a sale. It all comes down to analytics. So, you know, while we're very much capable of being able to see who is, you know, without intruding on personal information um, of an, in, on an individual level, you know, we still can see who is doing what within, let's call it, their session. When they come into our environment, what exactly is that individual doing? Are they watching a video? Are they going to e-commerce? Are they looking at the product? Did they act, do they actually purchase the product? Do they share it on Facebook? And if they share the link on Facebook, how many people are coming back from Facebook into our controlled environment? So all of this allows us to identify the behavioral trends that are occurring. It also allows us to identify drop-off points or exit pages that we need to address immediately. Um, but you know, we can tell who's doing what on the mobile side versus the desktop side. It's about measuring really what's occurring uh, for a given campaign um, so that we can see how many people are utilizing these, let's call them mobile influencers, to research or educate themselves on a product because we see that a lot today, where these consumers are self-educating. And then what is then occurring? And what we can do is break down the amount of transactions. Let's say that the objective is a sale of a product. We can break it down to see who is doing what on mobile, who is doing what on an e-commerce side from a desktop, who is doing something from a, you know, from a phone call from a 1-800 num uh, number to make it an actual transaction. And we can also break it down by time, you know, based on where they are, what region they are in the country. We can say, we can really see what is occurring within that behavioral trend. So not how are they responding and how are they achieving that hour call to action, but when are they doing it? So through those breakdowns, we can start to see that these mobile touch points really has the most influence out there for completing our objectives. For any marketing initiative, there's two very important components. Um, and, and one is specific to uh, each side. One side being the audience, the target audience or the end user, and that being the user experience. So what they experience on, let's call it, call it the front end, that mobile campaign, that mobile engagement, that mobile website we're building, that mobile application we're building. And then on our side or the client side, you know, uh, it has to be the analytics, which is always the most important to me because it allows us to easily identify what is occurring at any point in time through a campaign yeah, platform that we provide is meant to be simple 
on you know on, on the measurement side while it's complex and in giving us all of these different um, data points so that we can understand what is occurring on a day-to-day -day basis or even an hour-to-hour -hour basis it, it's in, it's meant to be interpreted uh, rather easily so what we're doing is providing a number of overlays so that the us the client whoever is in charge of watching these analytics in real time can see at a moment's glance what is occurring with the campaign but also decide to do a little bit of a deeper dive to understand more about each each data set you know for instance we could say let's look at page views so if we're creating a mobile engagement that is specific to a call to action let's say it's for uh, Black Friday sales and what we want to do is drive more consumers in store give them a discount that could be variable based on when they walk in the, in the store so that they take that discount that coupon that digital coupon that we deliver on their mobile device and hope that they purchase more items because we just gave them an extra incentive so if we do that you know when they utilize the on-ramp to get to that experience what are they doing first are they opting in to get the discount are they going to social media to share it because they want their friends and family to be able to, to take advantage of this are they watching video footage of a celebrity that previously wore this new line that just came into stores it could be a number of different things so we can see what is the behavioral trend that's occurring here what is most important to our demographic our target audience what goes along with that is we can see not only which pages or pages are visited most but we can see exit pages so if we can identify that people are going to watch the video but they're not opting in to receive that discount well we have to ask ourselves why and this is where smart pages comes in for access images